Number 11, manager alert. The Scrum Master permits stakeholders or worse, uh, line managers to participate in the team retrospective. There are plenty of reasons why stakeholders are interested to get in a closer contact with the team. So besides the sprint review, there's basically no other event planned in Scrum that stakeholders talk directly with the whole Scrum team. However, including them or inviting them to the team retrospective is a no-go, and the team should refuse to participate in that. But there are plenty of alternatives. Why don't you run a separate overall retrospective with stakeholders? Or maybe other scrum ceremonies are suited for that too. I mean, of course, it's a sprint review, but there's ample room for stakeholders participating in the daily scrums. You know, chickens are always allowed to listen in. And I don't see any reason why they shouldn't be participating, for example, in a backlog refinement or in a sprint planning, as long as they don't try to influence the meeting itself. On top of that, there are plenty of opportunities to have a conversation. I mean, at the water cooler, over coffee, during lunchtime, just think about this. There's ample opportunity to make this kind of communication happen in a structured way. There's one tricky situation, though. What if the line manager serves also on the Scrum team? For example, my last project, we had the case that some uh, one of the developers was promoted to a managerial position and he became the line manager of two other developers of the same team. So that was a really tricky situation and I recommend to avoid them at all costs because it undoubtedly has negative impact on the quality of the retrospectives. Think of the scrum values like courage and openness that certainly will be affected. <laughs>